What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I wanted to share this quick tip on how you could trim your timeline whenever you're working with your data in Rococo Studio. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see now, I'm in Rococo Studio. I have my suit all linked up and everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just gonna do some quick animation. So while I'm talking, I'm gonna click record. I'm just gonna move my head a little bit, do some arm gestures and everything. Maybe bend my knees a little bit here. I'm just getting some data that I wanna work with and bring into, let's say like Cinema 4D. So I'm happy with this right here. I'm actually gonna stop my recording. And then if I come over here to where it says take one, I'm gonna double click on it. And you can see that we have our animation playing out now. So this is exactly what I recorded out. And so let's say that at the beginning of this, like I wanna have it start maybe at like two seconds in. And so to be able to do that, we actually hold down the shift key on our keyboard. And then I'm just gonna click and drag this over. And this actually gives us a little segment tag. And so as long as I have the shift key held down, I could drag this on the end bring it into like two seconds. And then maybe let's say we want to stop it at 12 seconds. So I'm just going to bring it over and then I'm going to let go of the left click and then let go of the shift key. So now whatever is inside the segment bar, this is exactly what's going to export out whenever I export out my FBX data. So let's say I'm happy with this right here. I just want to export this out right here. This 10 seconds. So I'm going to come over here to where it says take. I'm just going to right click on it and click export, or you could come down here to the lower right hand side where it says export and export there as well. And so I'm gonna go with FBX, I'm gonna leave it at binary, FBX 2016, and for my scale tool, I'm gonna use Mixamo, cause I'm gonna bring it over to cinema, and then I'm gonna click export, it's gonna go right to my desktop here. So let this export out, in which it's already done. So I'm gonna bring this down, I already have cinema R23 opened up here. So I'm gonna come over to Windows Explorer, come to my desktop, find where I have it exported, which I have it right here. So I'm just gonna click and drag this into Cinema 4D, click OK, and there we go. We have our skeletal rig in here. So now if I click play, you can see it started at exactly where I wanted it to, and it's just gonna give us all the way until the end. So it's about 10 seconds worth of data here. So this is exactly how we could trim off the beginning and the end and get exactly what we want out of our animations from our Coco Studio. So hopefully this quick tip helped you guys out. This is something that I recently discovered. Shout out to Don Allen. He's the one that shared this tip with me. So I'm extremely grateful because now I can extend out just the keyframes that I want to get out into my application and not have to fudge around with all these extra frames. So if this helped you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. Leave me a big thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Take care.